Dallas Rowing Club's race training disputed right now, or I should say disrupted, after a million gallons worth of raw sewage spilling from a damaged pipe. A local water district says that sewage will likely not make it to White Rock Lake. But Yona Gavina shows us how that team is coping. These are the sights and sounds at White Rock Lake. Days after threats of a raw sewage spill. Steve Perry is the head coach for Dallas United Crew. His athletes missed crucial practice on the lake because of concerns over safety and pollution. We've been shut down since Thursday morning. About 60 team members are headed to Canada for an international race. We're training for the Royal Canadian Henley Regatta. It's a race in St. Catharines, Ontario. Um, it's going to be the first weekend of August. Unable to row on the lake, they took their training indoors on rowing machines and lakeside. The rowing machines is not their most favorite thing in the world to do. They'd rather be on the water in competition with one another, uh, racing, feeling the water flow underneath them, feeling the wind. Steve says the city of Dallas recently delivered good news. The rowers are clear to get back in the water. Um, thankful they were able to contain it, and uh, it's only two days that people use, missed using the lake rather than a month. So this is fantastic. Steve says the athletes will have plenty of hand sanitizer and wipes once training resumes. There's many places in the country that are forced to row in less than ideal conditions. We are not one of them. We get to use this beautiful lake. We get to row at wonderful times, and safety is always our number one priority. Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News. Uh,